Okay, so here we go. These are the pieces that I promised you I was going to show you exclusively as a mailing list subscriber. And these represent work that I completed from early 2020 to early 2022. And for whatever reason, um, I either maybe just shared them on my Instagram account or Facebook artist page, but never really decided to sell them or offer them on my website. Um, some of these were created when I didn't even have a website. So they have just been sitting down in my studio. And this one begins a series um, that I did called Deconstructed. And it's mixed media collage on 140 pound watercolor paper. And you can see the different elements in here. And this was also a phase where I went through, which you're gonna see a bunch of these, where I tried to incorporate words and quotes into pieces to see if I liked it or how I wanted to maybe accomplish that. So this one's powerful. And the quote is, words are powerful, or excuse me, words are things, powerful things. It's a Maya Angelou quote. The next one in that deconstructed series is called Beauty, and the quote is, do what you must in this life to be happy. There's so much beauty. Go well, my child. So there's the word beauty there. I'll try to zoom in on some. I won't zoom in on all of them. It'll just, this video will go on forever if I do. So I'm gonna try to zip through these as quick as I can. Just keep in mind that if you see something you really want, jot it down, the title, um, if you have to go back to the video and check it again, I'll try to say the title with each one and then you jot that down and then just direct message me, um, either Facebook, Instagram, email, um, text. I will include my, uh, all my information, um, in the email that I send you guys out before, before you see this video. So, um, yeah, that's how we're going to do this because there's just too many pieces to photo and edit and upload to the, you know, um, website and all of that. So this is just kind of a informal way to, to have you see these and maybe decide you some, some of these you may want. So, okay, this one is um, called Bloom. And these three that I just did, these are all $20, okay? Um, there is no quote in this one. I did a commission um, in this style um, for a client and she was really happy with them. Um, so I did several more and really enjoyed it. Here's a smaller one. This one would fit in a five by seven um, frame. Zoom in on this. Um, we are the choices we've made. So this one's called choices, the words right there. Okay. And these others, nine by 12 frames are pretty standard. You can find those as well. All right, so then we have um, a bunch more of those, but what, happened with these was they were um, kind of become ended up as I trimmed them down they became odd size and this was back in the days when I didn't think through ahead of time really not thinking about my work being for sale so these can be custom framed easily and inexpensively but you're not going to find this you know obviously this size of frame um, so I think that's maybe why I just kind of stuck them in a drawer and, and left them for a while. But I love these. These have different color palettes. Again, the quotes, um, it's okay to live a life. Uh, it's okay to live a life others do not understand. And it's okay, live, is what that says. Let's just zoom in real quick on that one. Okay, and then there's like three more in this color palette. This one is called Free and um, it says stay creative, stay self-cared up, stay free. Okay, and again, these are all um, $15 each, this size, since they are kind of an odd size. They would be a beautiful grouping or individually if you really just like the one quote or something, but this one is called Truth. Every artist dips her brush into her own soul and paints her own truth. And the last one in that color palette is called Beautiful. The most beautiful things in my life were never on my to-do list. These are all just quotes that I love, of course, and you know could see actually hanging up, enjoying the artwork, but also the quote itself in my space, either my office space or um, you know a, a really nice little place where you saw it a lot and it was a nice reminder or just something to make you smile. Okay, the next... Oh, so sorry. The next um, color palette is just, there's a couple of these blues and greens and grays. These are so richly textured, you guys. Um, see if I can kind of show that a little bit. 
This one is called uh, Solitude. Without great solitude, no serious work is possible. That is a Picasso quote. And the other one in blue and green is called Storms. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. This one is called Love. Do small things with great love. This orange and blue palette is absolutely my favorite along with the yellow ochre. Um, this one's called Your Voice. Raise your words, not your voice. It is rain that grows flowers, not thunder. That's a roomy quote. Back these out a little. Here is some really bright, pretty um, peach and purple and this, this hot pink. I love, love, love. And this one is called Fly. What if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? One of my favorite quotes. This one is called Grow. Normality is a paved road. It's comfortable to walk, but no flowers grow. It's a Vincent Van Gogh quote. Okay, so that uh, concludes the Deconstructed series. Oh, got a little piece on the back. That's a bonus. A uh, little piece that was stuck to the back of it. Um, but these are $15 each, and they would need to be, um, like I said, inexpensively custom framed. You wouldn't even need to use glass in these, so that could be even more inexpensive that way. These are nice and sealed up. All my mixed media pieces are well sealed and protected, so you could be um, assured that they would do very well without glass. But um, Okay, so this next series um, is... Um, Three studies that I did for a course that I was taking in 2020, and I've called these wintering. I think just the color palette um, and the botanicals that I added in uh, made me think of winter colors. And as it's snowing greatly again outside, um, it's definitely um, appropriate. It kind of reminds me of snow there. These were really fun, and I was just experimenting with watercolor background really beginning my ink drawing, uh, you know, practicing those skills, and I just loved the way those came out. So there's three of these, and they are $10 each. They're 9 by 12 and on um, a watercolor paper, um, a little bit lighter watercolor paper, but these would do well in a standard frame with or without glass. Um, also, some of these pieces I could see mounted on um, a cradled wood panel, um, if you were so inclined to do so, you know, um, I of course haven't done it, haven't done the framing on these to keep the cost down and, and let you decide how you want to display them. But these would work really well for that too. And I've seen that done and then paint the edges. Maybe I'll do a video about how to do that. Um, it's a really pretty way to, um, display artwork, paper pieces. So, okay. So, um, these, now we're going to switch gears. This is still from 2020. But this is, um, now we're going to get into some watercolor and ink botanicals that I did, um, florals that I did. This one's called Signs of Life. And uh, there's two of these. So Signs of Life 1, they're 11 by 14. These are on a heavy 300 pound watercolor paper. So um, these will be $25. These are super Super heavy duty, beautiful, bright, brilliant colors. I just love that. And then it's sister, her sister here. Um, this one's a landscape orientation. And then this one, uh, Sign of Life, Signs of Life 2, is a portrait orientation. And you can see that. Let's get a little closer. I just love these. And these came along at the time that I was doing a commission. Uh, for a friend and um, had done several in, kind of in the color palettes that she had requested and I hung on to these because I just really thought they were wonderful and these have a built-in border around them so all you have to do is frame them here or you could choose to put a mat for a little bit more depth or I suppose you could crop this out and simply just um, frame the floral too so those are signs of life there's two of those one and two Okay, then there are two of these. They're, this is called Just Peachy. Um, these are 25 as well. They're on 300 pound, 100% cotton watercolor paper completed in 2020. So this one could probably go either, any direction, I suppose, if you really wanted. Let me back out a little bit or back in, I guess go in. Um, 
a little closer. You can see that, the detail on that. This is another one of my favorite color palettes, uh, especially at that time. I used these colors a lot and really loved them. And so that's just Peachy the Large. And it is, sorry, I had to hug that camera so close. Um, it's 25, yeah, I think I said that. And then, I'm gonna move that little dot out of my way. The small one, just Peachy Small, just a, a very similar. Um, and it's just cropped down. This one is an 8 by 10 and so you would just frame it. Again, this one would be great on a cradled wood panel where you would just adhere it and then maybe have a painted um, edge or just leave it on the natural wood. But I think these would be beautiful on a wood panel, but also in a really nice um, simple wood frame. So that's just peachy small. This is Fall Fantasy Floral. Okay, and it's a 9 by 12. Um, floral illustration. This is when I was kind of playing around with some illustrations. It's watercolor and ink on 140 pound watercolor paper and this is $20. It's landscape orientation. And you can kind of see the whimsical um, effect I was trying to get, the illustrative effect with the ink and watercolor. Really had fun making these. And there's another one in, that I did at the same time. This one's called Think Spring and it is a 9 by 12 as well. $20 for this one. And this is on a, a lighter 140-pound um, watercolor paper. Again, bright colors, really cheerful, and that illustrative style, which I love. And I do hope to get back to some of this because this was also when I was experimenting with some surface design um, ideas and just kind of playing around with things. So this, these were these were really fun. All right, so there we go. This here. Okay, then there uh, are two of these moonflowers, I call them. I just, they remind me the, I don't know if it's the color palette, the circles, the, the, the texture that I got. Um, it just reminds me of something, if you, there were flowers on the moon, so that's why I call them that. Um, they're 8 by 10. They're on 300 pound watercolor paper, $20 each. They would make a great pair hung together. So there's this one. And that's a portrait, and then there's a landscape one, and you can see why maybe the moonflower title where that came from. Again, this is when I was just really working on my my ink drawing, my florals, and just love these. Um, a really nice, cool, neutral palette would would go in any space. Then we get into um, a couple of pieces that I did after. Um, taking a course where I completed some really fun collages um, with mixed media backgrounds, watercolor backgrounds, and added feminine figures into them. And this was one of my original designs that I called Chrysalis. It's a 9 by 12. It's on 300 pound watercolor paper. And there she is. And this is one that I did share on Instagram but never did offer for sale. So this is Chrysalis, and this one is called Grounded, and um, it's $20. Chrysalis, I believe, I'm sure you saw, but that one's $25. Okay, and then Grounded. This is one based off of Prairie Keeper that I did that I think I could have sold 20 times over. Um, but I used the same background as Prairie Keeper, but I changed the scale and the perspective a little bit. And... Um, so made a much smaller figure. And if you go on my Instagram account, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's there's a piece on there called Prayer Keeper with this same background. But um, this one, I just love, love her, love her. Okay, and then we get into the one and only piece that I'm offering on Aquaboard. And that is how you spell it, A-Q-U-A-B-O-R-D. It's a brand, it's a trademark name. Um, so I didn't misspell that. But it is a hard backed um, watercolor board. I'm um, asking $50 for this. This, I absolutely love her, okay? And I titled it um, after a quote that I love. As you can see, there's a theme going on here. She was beautiful in a way that only wild things can be beautiful. Long title, but I felt like it it fit. So it's eight by 10. Um, like I said, on Aquaboard, I did this in 2021. 
um, and it went along with this same series where I was adding um, the feminine um, collage figures. The, uh, the collage piece is her face here, but everything else I have um, done, this is on a watercolor background, um, and then added some collage floral elements to it as well. This, um, all this needs is a, is a nice 8x10 frame, and it would be a beautiful addition to any space. Okay, and then these are, we're, we're getting close. Um, there's a two more things, two more series that I want to show you. This was um, what I'm calling my Move um, series, and there are six studies. These, again, are an odd size because I cut them down from larger watercolor paper, and again, at that time, wasn't paying attention to um, <laughs> the fact that I may or may not ever try to sell these and in fact these were studies so, so these are ten dollars each and they I just could see these in a in a fun uh, kids room um, a gym your yoga room um, any place for you wanted to add bright color and I will show you here so I'm just gonna call these one through six so this is move one ten dollars this is a landscape orientation let me just bop in a little closer so you can kind of see the detail. I love, love, love these. I had so much fun making them, kind of channeling my Dina Wakely there, as you can see, if you know who she is. If not, you can look her up. But anyway, these are all hand-drawn and then collaged on um, a mixed media background that I created first. And this is Move 2, okay? Bright and bold and really colorful and fun. This is move three. Let me just show you that. And this is move four. This is, you gotta figure out which way it goes this way. This is move five. A lot of asemic writing in my pieces, as you can see. Um, and then the last one is move six. And again, these six pieces, you would need to just inexpensively frame them, uh, custom frame them, but you would not need any glass. You could. You could totally do like a non-glare glass. It just adds to the cost, but they're all $10 each, and you can't go wrong with all six of them, I think. Um, it would make a really neat uh, grouping. Okay, and I am down to the last couple of pieces. Um, these are ones that I completed early in 2022. Let me see. I'm going to have to raise this up a little bit. Definitely going to have to cut myself out of the bottom of that. Okay, so this one is called uh, Hope or Happiness. And there should be a question mark after that. Um, the center painting part is measures nine by 13. So again, a little odd size. Um, it's acrylics on 140 pound watercolor paper and I'm asking $30. You could, it, you can see I didn't protect the edges. I started to, and then I went back to edit this piece. I did a little negative shape painting and some detail work. And so the edges got a little messy, but you could have this matted around or you could trim it down and frame just this part. That would be entirely up to you. And the last one in, in the same kind of style, this is called Time Warp. It's an 11 by 15. It's acrylics on 140 pound watercolor paper. I'm asking $30, Time Warp. And this one has no border, so you would just have to frame this. Again, under glass or no glass um, could be done fairly inexpensively. So, all right, so these are the pieces. Um, go back through the video, pick out your favorites, message me um, in one of the three ways that I mentioned in the email. And, um, and I really thank you for your support and your time and you're awesome. This has been a really fun weekend, the studio cell, and I hope that you've found some things that you love and want to have in your home. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.